Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome back to Fortnite Save the World here on the channel. Now, today, as you can see, we're on Canny Valley quest page 14, which means I've made it to Act 3, the final part of the Fortnite Save the World storyline. So, Act 3 is pages 14 to 19. We've completed Canny Valley Storm Shield Defense 5. We're right at the end of Canny Valley now. So, everything now, we are working towards beating the storm, beating the storm king, taking on the final boss to save the world. Pretty ironic with the name of the game being save the world. You'll also notice that throughout the whole of Act 3, there is not a single storm shield defense. The storm shield defense is right at the end, so you'll defeat the storm king, and then you'll do Canny Valley storm shield defense 6, and the time to blast off mission, which is what unlocks you Twine Peaks. So, Without further ado, the point of this video. Quest page 14 begins with the mission Remote Control. So we hear a machine bleeping. And it says test the new remote detonation device by sending a probe through a rift. So we're going to go to Canny Valley. This is a special mission. And the one thing I want to note really quickly is Canny Valley is absolutely huge. As we saw last time, the map just gets bigger and bigger. And now it's expanded even further with new areas that are power level 70 missions but what you can notice off to the side there now is this gigantic swirling storm orb very ominous very dangerous and that i am assuming is where our storm king final battle will be so we've got to push towards there now to do that we've got to start with this mission deploy the probe mission power level 70 um, in the Desert Canny Valley, as I say, it is a special one. So, explore, prepare to deliver the probe, and then protect the probe. So, we're going to go straight into it. And, as I say, bear in mind, the level of difficulty at this point is quite high. I mean, I'm a power level 92, but I was struggling a little bit with the 64s. So, now that we're at 70 mark, it's going to be quite tough. And to get stronger, it's a little bit hard to get stronger. Because to do so, you need the four-star evolutions, which you don't get until you've done Canny Valley. Storm Shield Defense 6, which you can do at any time once you're at Canny Valley, because technically the Storm Shield Defenses are side quests. But because 1 to 6 are built into the storyline of Canny Valley, it makes sense in my head to leave it for now. If I need to do it, I will do so because those four star evolutions will make us a lot stronger and make the game a lot easier. But I like having a bit of a challenge, so we're going to try and see if we can get through it at our current level of difficulty. So for this mission, explore and examine the corrupted areas, prepare to deliver the probe, connect the depot to the launcher, protect the probe, launch the probe into the rift. upset by how easy it was to find so what's our plan we're sending a bomb over to the other side huh we do that all the time this is a special bomb the detonation process cannot begin until it's completely through the rift you're talking about remote detonation after it's gone through the rift yes it's not gonna work okay no, but we don't have another choice I must say, I'm quite intrigued by this. Suck it up, Ray. The fact Obviously. that the nothing is mentioned in Save the World, I find very, very interesting. So we have a very special rift here. It's floating up in the air, and we also have severe storm corruption in three areas. So let's go and explore.
I actually didn't realise that the nothing was mentioned in Save the World. We need to send a probe through the rift. If we can connect with the probe once it's on the other side, then we can safely detonate the bomb from here. And if we can't? We send someone through the rift to manually activate the bomb. We're not sending someone on a suicide mission! Ray, there's oh a very real possibility we won't have any other options. Then we invent another option! Alright, let's not get ahead of ourselves. If this test works, we won't have anything to worry about. <sighs> More corruption. Okay, I am not gonna let this drag me down. We have a monster army gathering near a crack in reality. And everything we've done up until this moment means probably nothing. But I will not be consumed by existential dread. I will focus oh on my everyone God. I love and their inevitable tragic deaths. Oh, okay, not on that. I will focus on Come our on, noble Mary, goal to it. save the world. Even though we will definitely fail. You know what always makes me happy? What's that, buddy? Penny, it's Locke and Ray and the Commander. Can you say the thing? <sighs> Locke, we agreed. Three times a day and that's the limit. Oh, please. Fine. Aluminium. <laughs> <laughs> aluminium. Yeah, that's right. It is aluminium. <laughs> okay, that sort of helped. More corruption. All right, that's enough. Let's get ready to test the remote detonation system. There should be a rift nearby. Let's take a look. Pass, pass, pass. Ray, the storm corruption is getting to all of us. You have to fight through it. That sounds so hard. That's why I already gave up. Ray, you have to fight back. You're right. I will fight through it. Mm. I will seize onto the remaining scraps of joy in this world, and I will rise above. That's spirit. Come I'm on, like Ray, we can do it, sweetie. More than to give up. Uh, welcome to the club. Yep, there it is. All right, see ya. I'll take over from here. We need to safely transport the test device through the rift. Your track system should do the job. Yeah, yeah, we'll do the same. Come on, Ray. The actual level of difficulty now is so hard. The armory is now active. To produce your first bomb, add blue gloves. I think the quest is slightly bugged almost. It's telling me to like locate the bomb launcher, but I've already done that. And we haven't got the access to the tracks yet to make them, so... Maybe we're going to make ourselves the bomb first, so let's go and grab some blue glow. I want to make some uh, ammo as well. I've got to grab blue glow, but do that you need to find it so that is what we shall do
Hopefully. Hopefully this mission works. Hopefully Desiree knows what she's talking about. Because if not, this could be it. Canny Valley Act 3 is supposed to be humanity's last stand against the storm, against the corruption, against, I guess in Battle Royale references, it's against the last reality. And that just makes this ever more important that we can beat this, that we can save the world. Right. We need to be careful. This is basically an upgraded version of Deliver the Bomb. So what we're going to do is we're going to make ourselves a bomb. We're then going to transport it to the launcher. And then we have to defend the launcher while the launcher arms. The only difference this time is rather than a bomb, we're using a special remote controlled bomb that we're going to send through the rift and blow it up on the other side. So fingers crossed this works. And now we have to find ourselves the best possible route to get from A to B. This route is important. Whatever way we go now is the way that we have to deliver this bomb. And so, trying to go for the shortest possible route always seems like the best option. In that case, we're going to loop ourselves round and go up this sort of natural stone ramp that we've found here and then we weave it across the edge of the canyon. If we can weave it across the edge of the canyon, in theory, we can connect it up directly without having to go down any cliffs or up the sides of any mountains. It should be quite a direct route to go. The issue is is it does mean going nearer the rift. However, should be fairly difficult for the husks to access up here. So with a little bit of luck, we should hopefully have a good route up here. And it took the 20 pieces that Ray gave us, plus another 20 pieces that we had to build ourselves. So this is a 40 tile transportation. It's quite a long distance compared to your normal deliver the bomb. This is a bit further. I just hope and pray that we can keep it defended. So. Now, I believe we just have to trigger the mission, but how we do that, I don't know. Because there doesn't seem to be an option on the bomb to do that, which there should be. So, let's try and get this going, if it'll let me. If not, I don't know what we do. Because it should be... If it's anything like a normal deliver the bomb, you go to the bomb, and you basically click start. But for some reason we don't have that option.
Right. I'm going to pause the video and we'll get back to it in a second. Follow the bomb and keep it safe during transport. We are back and it's ready to go. Since this is only a probe, we won't have to worry about timing the launch. So there won't be a big fight at the end. Protect the detonator along the way and we'll deploy it once you reach the depot. Ah. So that's good to know from Desiree. We don't need to defend the bomb at the end. And I also just really quickly want to say, folks, that if your mission breaks like mine just did, you unfortunately will have to restart the mission. However, it does seem to be the exact same sort of thing every time, so... The exact same layout for the map, so... The bomb is going to take some damage here, but... It's about minimising that damage that it takes as it makes its way towards that big, massive, ominous rift. The fact that we do have this gigantic power level 70 Krampus smash is kind of annoying though. Especially seeing as we have a horde of costs potentially incoming. In the final push now. It's a case of whether or not we can keep this bomb defended for that last little push, but we should be able to. The bomb is taking damage. We'll use a turret for some extra defense, which that keeps the area sort of defended for 30 seconds and it's got a good range, so the remote control turret is good for a mission like this as it can help cover you for 30 seconds, so if there's any that you miss, it can help you pick them up. As you can see, we've pretty much got it there now, so I think the actual chances of us failing are pretty low, to be honest with you. And I do really like the news that Desiree told us about the fact that you don't have to uh, arm the thing at the end, so it's just going to immediately arm itself. Seems like we're gonna have a nice little cutscene now, hopefully. Stand by to test the detonation system. Alright. Well we fired our bomb through. It didn't seem like it went through, it seemed like it went past it, but we fired it through. So now we wrap up this mission and we see what happened. So we're gonna grab our loot first. Which we should get quite a decent loot for that, I would have thought. Nice, a level 4 loot. So that should give a fair amount of Battle Royale XP as well. So if you're trying to level up your Fortnite Battle Royale Battle Pass, then I'm sure this will probably help. So it's about 30,000 XP plus a couple of bonuses, so about 33,000 XP. And now ready. Stand by to transmit. And go. Transmitting now. Hold for return signal. Holding.
The return signal window mm. was closed. It didn't work? No. We'll try again. We don't have time. We send someone over with the bomb. No. I'm not demanding we send someone over. Oh no. I just don't see another option. So it's not worked. So it really does seem like doomsday is upon them all. And so Desiree's thinking of basically doing, getting someone to do a suicide mission. Locke, run the scenario again. Okay, a sad man is standing on a bridge. Why is he sad? Because you keep killing him with a train. This time we'll find a better solution. Oh my god. Keep it coming. Uh oh, here comes a train full of orphans. Do you A, crash the train and save the man on the bridge? Or B, hit the sad man again and save the plucky orphans? What do you do? I've solved it. Commander, I, I need oh. to build something. So, Can you collect clock parts basically me, it's the whole utilitarianism problem. Which the whole problem with utilitarianism is basically the needs of the, needs of the many outweigh the needs of the few. So they're talking about like one person sacrificing themselves to save the world is obviously it makes sense. But Ray doesn't want to let that one person die either. So she's going to try and come up with a thing, which is why we now need to collect clock parts apparently. But with that in mind, guys, that's where I'm going to end this video for today. So we're in Act Three, and stuff is looking bleak. Any time we get a special quest now, I will obviously record it like I have been for the rest of the Canny Valley. So I will see you guys in the next one for that. I'll also see you back in Battle Royale and all my other games. But with that in mind guys, thanks for watching the video. I hope you find it informative, enjoyable and fun to watch. And I'll see you all in the next one.